it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. the date for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Chris Jato. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, round one is underway. Here is the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by first round knockout, something his opponent is acutely aware of coming in here tonight. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickbox. Beautiful hook in close, staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Choi. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Those thudding leg kicks just continue to land. I'm not sure how many of those the boxer's gonna be able to take. Well, boxers in both of their names. You got the kickboxer versus the boxer, but the kick is ultimately what shows itself early. He has more weapons. He's got to use each and every one of them. Nice punch, man, over the top. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss 
with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Oh, big elbow. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well, informed speculation says he's gonna try to set up another hook here. Oh, and there it is. High level mixed martial arts striking right there. And can't say we didn't see that one coming. Nice. Well, so we predicted he'd go back to that hook, and he did. This time, the opponent was ready. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Chotko. It's work, guys. Nice jab. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Real quick leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Good kicks there by Chu. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, he landed a flying knee to the head. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Inside leg kick is there. there and at least in that situation it paid to have the advantage in reach. He lands a solid punch there. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. A swing and a miss by Choi. Hook lands. 20 seconds to go in round one. That is a clean strike and it gets right through the goal. Whips on the straight right hand. Down defense is there. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing ready, with this ready. cut on the cheek. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level for the first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. 
Choi circling to his right now. Nice free punch. Throws the left hand. A oh, little single collar tie there. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. Team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. So there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here. Absolutely, John. And you could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice jab there by Chor. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Counter left. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, they're trained huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four-ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Nice kick there by Chotko. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice. Shot goes doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Just misses with a left hook there. Well placed kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Sounds on round two. All right, a deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? I don't want you to get time. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Uppercuts, uppercuts, uppercuts. Oh, inside kick. Stay on that Unable to connect there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. He's got the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Out of range for that one. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight at So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Solid punch from the clinch here. Nice. Ah, punch went nowhere. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, a well-timed overhand there by the Korean Super Bowl. He's going to get himself knocked out. He got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Go up to the top. Looking to land the right just out of range. Wow, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Lands a strike there. Oh, and a head kick there. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Pretty good jab there by Jocko. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes. Oh! Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Good work, guys. Come on. 15 seconds. Let's go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice kick to the midsection. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut Ready, on his cheek. Ready. I'm just saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Fighter blocks the punch. Just misses with the jab there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Shot goes, taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time the shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Clean punch. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Overhand. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Just missed with that right hand. Jocko getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Just out of range with the big right hand. Shotgo gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Back and forth we go. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. He has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Effective jab there by Choi. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it, and he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. That flying knee to the head landing. Oh, that head kick was nasty. Nice punch by Choi. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, nice takedown defense. Shotgo gets back up. 
Ooh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you gotta be careful now because as it bleeds, you gotta worry about the blood going into the eye. Now it's time to start being on high alert. Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough that when you are able to visually see someone react to the damage, react to the pain, it tells you how hard or how much effect the strikes have taken on them. Right now, we are seeing him limping because he's been kicked so much. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? You ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. This round is underway, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me, DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint workouts during training camp or something. I mean, these guys are known for working very, very hard. Both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation, and it's showing on both sides of the outcome. Well-placed kick there by Choi. Big power shot there. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Able to block the punch there. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Stay sharp. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get there blocked by the defense. Nice jab by Choi. And that one certainly found the target. Just over. Straight punch lands. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with every step of the man. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Shot goes face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. He's got to either go southpaw, or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. How good is his right hook counter? Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Missed with that attempt. Now lands a kick to the body. Two minutes now to go on this one. Clean with that off. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance, but if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Fast jab lands there. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. 
just out of range with the uppercut. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Chotko. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. And he blocks the shot there. Chotko's cheek is just fauceting blood all over his face, all over the canvas. Like, where's the ringside physician? Maybe time to call on the doctor. I don't know. Great body kick there. Yes, the single collar tie now. Just misses with the straight left hand. Shows eyes closing up. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice. Waiting seconds on this fight. All right, the Ladies official decision is now in. After Here five is Bruce Buffer. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean super boy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started. Now let's see just how far he can take it. But tonight the celebration is on, undeniably.